My name is Jack, and I go to the Pine Hill Waldorf School. My seventh grade science project was on probability. I wrote about what probability is, the history of probability as a field of study in mathematics, how we calculate probabilities, and some of the laws associated with probability, like the law of large numbers, the law of small numbers, the gambler's fallacy, conditional probability, the Bayesian theorem, and I also did my own study of the probability of rock, paper, scissors. For a practical demonstration, I created a quincunx, a kerplink machine. Basically, you drop marbles in the top. Each marble has a 50% chance of bouncing right on every nail and a 50% chance of bouncing left on every nail. Pretty random. Yet, by the power of mathematical probability, the marbles will consistently and always form a normal distribution pattern at the bottom, um, which is a pattern that is commonly seen in nature and a pattern that is used extensively in mathematics. Let's see if it does it again. As you can see, um, the pattern that the marbles make at the bottom is basically a normal bell curve. There's more marbles in the middle and less marbles on the sides. And this is demonstrated using my quincunx. Overall, I learned a lot and had a lot of fun with this project. Here's a snapshot of my project write-up. Hello, my name is Jack Miron, and my sixth grade science fair project was on light and vision. I call it, How Do We See the Way We Do and Why? I started by describing how light is really broken down into a rainbow of colors, and in fact, white light is only a part of the, vis of the full energy spectrum. As you can see in this diagram, there's a whole spectrum of waves, but we can only see this much of it. I then talk about shadows and mixing colors and ultraviolet light and x-rays. Like this one. And also, I wrote in ultraviolet ink uh, secret messages in the margins up here. And you can only see them if you shine an ultraviolet light onto uh, margins there. Um, my practical demonstration used three flashlights and colored glass to mix and create shadows of different colors, not black shadows. Pretty cool. I used lenses like this to demonstrate how light bends and how eyeglasses work to correct blurry Im images and bring them into focus. I also created a model of an eyeball to help explain how we see. Overall, it was pretty cool. Here's a snapshot of my project write-up.